a space lover's dream. Tonight, you have the chance to get a real good look at Jupiter. But if you want the best look, you'll have to stay up pretty late. Um. Jupiter, it's the largest planet in the solar system, and you just might be able to see it tonight. Michael Cushing, the director for UT's Ritter Planetarium, describes tonight's visibility of the planet and some of its moons. It rises tonight at sunset. It will be a very bright star. In fact, it will be the brightest star in the sky. Jupiter is actually visible year-round, but tonight it's at its nearest point to the Earth in an alignment called opposition. Jupiter is at what we call opposition. And so every 13 months or so, um, as the planets orbit around the sun, the sun, the Earth, and Jupiter line up. And because from our perspective, Jupiter is opposite the sun, we call that opposition. Mm -hmm. And it just so happens the way the orbits work out that when you're at opposition, you are at the cl you're at the closest point in any of the orbits that we take. If you're looking to see Jupiter, you'll have some trouble with just your bare eyes, but with the right kind of equipment, you'll be able to see part of the planet and two of the four moons discovered in the 1600s. If you have a, just a very basic set of binoculars, um, when you look at it, you'll actually see the surface of Jupiter. It will be a little disk on the sky. You probably won't see much detail, but you'll see a, you'll see a disk. Cushing says the highest visible point of Jupiter won't be until about 1.30 in the morning, and the cloudy skies are likely to get in the way of any earlier sightings. But if you miss it tonight, there'll be plenty more opportunities to see it in the next few weeks. Well, Jupiter will still be close to us for the next week, the next two weeks, the next three weeks, um, and even if you wait a month, you'll still be able to see it. How cool, cool is that story? I love that stuff. You look up at the sky, you're like, what's that star? And they're like, oh, that's a planet. A, a big shout out to our intern, Riley, for that one. Quite interesting. A lot of folks will be looking up maybe around 1.30. But if you, like, take your iPhone or something, try and snap a picture, it doesn't look like anything. It won't work? Yeah, use, the, use his advice. Binoculars, a little telescope, be pretty cool. Mm, okay. All right, skies are clearing out, so it should be pretty nice if you stay up late tonight. Well, stay up with us. The news continues at 6. <laughs>